Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Roborock on Home Assistant. So, a little bit about this series is I'm going to go over Home Labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So, this is what I'll be installing today, Roborock on Home Assistant. Um, I installed it with hacks, uh, a year ago and I, uh, went over the install, got it up and running. Um, but that video has been outdated. So I'm updating it now cause I'm trying to update the videos and keep things updated for the big bear community. Um, so now there's an important note right here that you will be installing it from the core version. And that means it's integrated into home assistant. Uh, so we can go backwards and we can go to the home assistant rubber rock right here. So it's more of an official integration and you can view the source right here as well. And it's on the home assistant co a court, a GitHub. So you can click right here and you can, uh, get, uh, get the integration installed. And, um, but I'm going to be going over it, uh, from home assistant and not using the button. Uh, here's all the stuff that it supports over here. So the configuration, the Robo uh, vac entities, the vacuum, select, the binary sensor, sensors, time, switch, a, a, a number, button, actions, and the image uh, for the map. Um, so uh, that's what we will be installing today. So now I'm going to start on my home assistant and I'm going to go down to the settings, devices and services up here. Bottom right is the add integration. I'm going to click it. Now I'm going to search up here in the search box and I'm going to say Roborock and it's right here. I'm going to click it. So. The info that you sign in to the Roborock app with your email and password, you will need to use the same exact email here. So you'll put it in and then you'll click the submit button. So I'll be right back. And so right after you click the submit button on the email, you'll be uh, getting a verification code in your email. So I'm going to go get my verification code, put it in here and then press the submit button. So once you put your verification code, you'll be presented with the screen of you created the configuration and you have your robots right here. Um, so you can go ahead and finish right here. Um, you can also add it to an area if you'd like and finish. So now you'll see it over in the list of the integrations. So now I'm going to go over the integration and uh, show you the features that you get that you can make automations from. Um, so on the home page, this is where it, it auto does to where it puts all of the entities on here already. Um, but I'm going to go over to settings, uh, integrations, and then I'm going to go to Roborock up here. So uh, you'll see two devices. If you have one, uh, you'll see one and then 79 entities. So you can go into the devices and you can see that I have two. So you can go into here and you can see that it's docked. So you can start a cleaning. You can see this docked, the status of it. You can see the battery. You can uh, uh, run it, pause, stop, and then you can clean a specific spot and lo locate and return to home. You can also change the fan speeds. So if you go into here, you can see the history of it, which is pretty handy. And you can go over here and rename it if you'd like. You can put a different icon on it. You can change the entity ID. So you can only change right here. You can't change the vacuum. Uh, so now you can you can add a label to it, uh, a, vo a voice assistant uh, enabled and then visible and then you can use a device area. That's the normal home assistant settings right here. So um, 
you can go over here and you can see more configuration like child lock and then do not disturb you can uh say i say when the do not disturb be begins by a time and then you can go in here and say when it ends the mop intensity you can change that and then you can go and change the mop mode you can also change the volume on it and you can see the history right here um you can go down here and you can have entities for the battery and then cleaning and then the cleaning area the cleaning progress the cleaning time the but uh, you can see any dock errors like the water's empty different things and then the filter uh, time left the last clean begin the last clean end and then the main brush uh, time left and then the the main floor you can check you can see a map of it uh the mop attached it gives you all these entities that you can make automations off of and uh, you can see that you can download di a diagnostics. You can see a log book over here of what it's done. Um, you can go into configure and you can change the options. You can also reload, rename, a download the diagnostics, the system options, and then uh, a disable and then a delete. You can also enable the debug logging right here. Um, so that's a little about the Roborock integration in Home Assistant. So I just went over step-by-step -step on getting Roborock running on Home Assistant. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description, so stay tuned for more.